Hello guys, welcome to my fourth section. This is me, Dr. Ashpar Khan. Today I am gonna to go over the bone and other structure on the left. Temporal fossa. Both the temporal fossa and infratemporal fossa contain muscle that act on the mandible during chewing. Chewing. This, uh, this is the uh, lateral view of the, the skull. Uh, show the large rounded brain case, zygomatic arch in upper and lower jaw. Greater wing of spinite, ciliary tarsica, frontal sinus, coronal suture, mastoid, external auditory meatus, and temporal mandibular giant. This is the, uh, these all are shown on this on the lateral side of the skull. What is suture? In the last video, I already told you about about the suture. Coronal suture uh, it's a fibrous containing tissue giants that separate the two parietal bone. That separate the two parietal bone uh, uh, from the frontal bone. Like this, this one is coronal. This is the front bone, and this is, these are the parietal bone. It's separated by coronal suture. Sagittal suture. Sagittal suture is also a dense fibrous connective tissue chain between the two parietal bone. This one is the sagittal suture, bone of the skull. And lamboid suture. Lamboid suture is a dense and fibrous connective tissue giant on the posterior aspect of the skull that connects the parietal bone with the occipital bone. It's the parietal bone, this is the parietal bone, and this one is the occipital bone. It continues with the occipitomestriate suture. Its names come from the supracase lambda like shape. Look, this one is this one is coronal suture, coronal suture, uh, su uh, su coronal suture, and like there is sagittal suture, and here there is uh, lamboid suture. Anterior uh, greater wing of spinite bone. Greater wing of spinite bone uh, is a bony process of the spinite bone. There is one on each side extending from the side of the bone of the spinite and curving and curving and curving upward and laterally and backward. We call it greater wing of spinite. Temporal bone squamous portion. Uh, this is the large the largest part of the temporal bone. This is the largest part of the temporal. It is split and plate like located superiorly the outer facing surface of the squamous bone is convex the shape forming form, uh, forming part of the temporal posa zygomatic process look at the, this one uh, th this area is the zygomatic process superior temporal line superior look at here this line is superior temporal line mestoid process this one is mestoid process stylite process 
stellate process this area is stellate process mandibular posa this is uh, mandibular posa and look at this one is greater wing of spinae temporal this one is temporal parietal this bone is parietal frontal and bone and one is the edge shape look at this shape this one is the edge shape formation of the suture on the side of the calvarium the calvarium representing the junction of four skull bone the greater wing of the spinite bone the greater wing of the spinite bone uh, the spinite bone and uh, squamous portion of the temporal bone and frontal bone and parietal bone this tyran and clinical significance of tyran is the weakest the tyrone is the weakest part of the skull tyrone is the weakest part of the skull the anterior division of the middle meningeal artery run underneath the tyrone consequently the uh, traumatic blue of the tyrone may rupture the med the middle meningeal artery causing the epidural hematoma superior uh, temporal line look at this line this one is the superior temporal line and this one is the inferior temporal line temporal lines the superior and inferior temporal lines across the arch temporal line arch across the skull from the zygomatic process of the frontal bone of the frontal bone of the, uh, to the uh, to the supra mestoid crest of the temporal bone the superior temporal line give attachment to the temporal fascia while the inferior temporal line provides attachment for temporal edge this is superior now look at the uh, superior temporal line this is in the intra intra posterior arching line this is the intra posterior arching line and the the lower half of the bone that marks the upper limit of attachment for the temporal edge muscle the superior temporal line is the top most curved line on the parietal bone and lies above the inferior uh, the inferior temporal uh, temporal line an inferior temporal line is curved line on the external surface on the external surface of the parietal bone for attachment of temporal edge muscle the internal surface of parietal bone feature grow for the superior sagittal sinus infra temporal posa look at this area this area is the infra temporal posa temporal po po infra temporal posa is a complex area located at the base of the skull deep to the mesteroid mester mester mes muscle it is closely associated with both the temporal and tragoplatean fossa and act as a con conduit for neurovascular structure entering the living the cranial cavity we call it infra temporal fossa terego maxillary fascia the terego maxillary fascia look at this area this green line show as the terego uh, maxillary fascia uh, of the human skull it is a vertical and descend a right angle from the medial and the inferior orbital fascia it is a triangular interval form uh, interval formed by the divergence of the maxilla from the pterygoid process of the spinite it connect the infratemporal uh, 
with the pterygoplatean fossa and transmit the terminal part of the maxillary artery. The posterior superior alveolar nerves of the maxillary nerves goes from the pterygoplatean fossa to the infratemporal region. The pterygoplatean plate or separate laterally from the posterior surface of the body of the maxilla by the pterygomaxillary fascia. Inferior orbital fascia. Look at this point. This one is the inferior orbital fascia. In the floor of the orbital inferior uh, uh, orbit inferior to the superior orbital fascia and is bounded superiorly by the greater wing of spinite inferiorly by maxilla. An orbital process of latent bone and laterally by zygomatic bone it open into posterior lateral aspect of orbital floor. That's all for today. In the next lecture, I will teach you the inferior view of skull. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.